Let me see. All right, perfect. I didn't see that. Okay, let me pull this up here. Perfect. Hello, everybody. I might give it another minute or two just to let people get here. Yay, I'm glad you're excited. If you guys have any questions in the meantime, let me know. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> hello, hello. I'll give it one more minute just in case since technology can be mean to people sometimes. Hello. Sorry, I have comments on another device, so I'll be looking back and forth. <laughs> How's it going? Have you guys gone to any other panels? There were some before this, right? Oh, cool. What'd you go to? I wish I could have gone to that one. I'm sure that one was awesome. Oh, mushrooms. That's so fun. Wow, those, those all sound super awesome. Honestly, all the panels sound awesome. If it wasn't finals time, I would definitely go to all of them. Okay, I will start now. So obviously, if you're here, you know what this panel is for. And let me just double check my devices really quick. Okay. Oh, hi. Hello. Okay. So before I get started, I wanted to let you guys know that I did my best to include foreign gals in this presentation as well. So I really wanted you guys to be able to see yourself in this fashion if you ever wanted to wear it. So wanted to point that out here. Um, I am right here. <laughs> and then this is my friend Ethan and Shanna here. So hopefully maybe you'll see people that you recognize from your own local community and also elsewhere around the world. So let's get started. So this is me and my social media if you want to follow. My TikTok is kind of dead at the moment just because I don't like the pressure that it brings. So <laughs> that's kind of dead at the moment. But I am Jupitan. I'm leader of Cherry Bomb, which is the Northern California gal circle. It's the only one in Northern California. Actually, I think the only one in California right now total. Um, yeah, and there's Instagram, TikTok, and my Patreon there. And I will actually be putting up a makeup tutorial for this look on Patreon for free. So if you want to see how I did this one, you can follow me there. And secondly, before we start, I wanted to bring up this magazine, Papillon. I am on the staff for this magazine, and I wanted to bring it up because it is a Gyaru magazine, and we release our winter lookbook tomorrow. I'm so excited. Um, my group, Cherry Bomb, here is the cover, so I am super excited to see the whole thing. I've seen bits and pieces, and we have our whole model list here on the screen for you, everyone that modeled this edition. And the website is right there, magazine-papillon.com. And it will be released tomorrow. So keep an eye out. You can also see our two full-length magazines on the site. You can read them. And we have a Valentine's Day lookbook, a Halloween lookbook, and there might have been another lookbook too. I forget now. We've done a lot. And it's purely a volunteer-based project. So 
none of us get paid for this. We do it because we love it. So definitely check it out if you're interested in seeing more. And let's get started. I couldn't get this to show me all the words at once, so I apologize for that. But I wanted to start because before we can talk about Gyaru, we have to talk about Black Diamond. So Gyaru, of course, is just the slang word or the interpretation of the slang word gal. And Black Diamond in their lifetime had over 100 members. And this is them up here. And their goal was to promote Gyaru fashion worldwide. And they were really big for a really long time. And they have sort of died out now. And now we have Black Diamond from 2000, which is the new generation and is their idol unit. So they have released music. And I put more toned down because you're not going to see... You see some of the big hair, but mostly you don't see the big hair. You don't see super dark tans. You don't see super tall platforms as much. Um, it's definitely the new generation of gal, um, but yeah, they're cool. You should check them out. I think they're on Instagram and it's B D I A J P or something like that. Um, and they are the new black diamond and there's only three or four members right now. So we're going to get into all of the different styles. So we have to start with pretty much the first style that came along, which was Kogal or Kogyaru, but it's usually called Kogal. And that is high school gal. And the style is mini skirts. And that is supposed to say loose socks. I apologize. <laughs> mini skirts and loose socks. And it can have any makeup style, but it does tend toward a childish big eye look. And this is what really started the Gyaru boom in the 90s because the high school gals actually saw the university gals that were inspired by America and they started tanning and bleaching their hair. And the gals in high school, um, of course, you weren't allowed to alter your uniform. You weren't technically allowed to bleach your hair or tan or anything like that, but they wanted to be rebellious. And so they did and they started this boom in Japan. And up here we have some other gal styles wearing the Kogal uniform. It's of course uh, romanticized and it's not really a school uniform anymore, but it is worn by pretty much any style. You can put any kind of makeup with it um, and still have a Kogal look, but it won't be the like true, true uh, traditional Kogal. So yeah, the staples are definitely bleached hair. Um, you don't have to tan as much these days, but it was a staple in the beginning. And then the skirts, the school uniform, the super slouchy socks, loafers, uh, Crocs, slides, anything like that. And then from Kogal, we got Gangro Gyaru. And this was definitely the peak of Gyaru boom. It, they had deep tans, super bleached hair, and they had the white eye makeup. They're, it's not going to be as extreme as Mamba or anything like that. But they did start the white eye makeup and white nose and cheek highlight. And this was popular through the 90s and 2000s. And it is the foremother of modern Gyaru and platforms are a must. So if you ever want to try this style out, just know platforms, platforms, platforms. And the other thing is summer all year. So that is the style is summer all year. You want to look like you just came off the beach. You just came tanning. You have your beach waves or your beach curls. Um, and that helps with the bleached hair as well. Um, yeah, so this is dead in Japan. <laughs> it is still worn around the world by a few people. Um, yeah, and I think it's adorable. From there, we got Mamba. And the origin of Mamba makes me laugh a lot because it's said to have come from the original gals, like the Kogals, and there's this gross culture in Japan of businessmen hitting on schoolgirls. And so, especially because the Kogals shortened their skirts, they got hit on a lot. So they said, how can we look as unattractive as possible? And that's how Mamba was born. So I put that this is the most well-known overseas. I think that that's because it's the most recognizable. I think you see this and you know that it's Gal. Um, they have very dark tans 
and highlight in white down the nose, the cheeks, over the eyes, the lips. Neon colors, neon colors, neon colors, bright hair, and it's a tropical explosion. So once again, you wanna look like you walked off the beach. And I wanted to include a bunch of pictures here because it's so versatile. You can do whatever the heck you want. As you can see, there's no color limit. There's a style to follow, but not really. I'm wearing Mamba makeup today, but I combined it with a separate style because I didn't feel like doing rainbow today. So um, we'll talk about the other style later on, but this is so versatile. There's staples to it, but you can change it up to fit however you want, which I super love about this style. And it's just the most extreme and the most standout and the most insane, which I really like. I like being the most different um, from everyone else. So I think this style is awesome. And I love this look here. It has inspired a lot of my looks because it is a Stitch themed look from Lilo and Stitch. So I love this look here. And from Mamba, we are going to go to Ya Mamba, which is pretty much identical. Um, it's hard to know when we're translating old Japanese things that were said in blogs to make sense today, but we think that the differentiation is Yamamba can only have white or platinum blonde hair, and they're also only going to have white to under the eyes. There's not ever going to be white on the cheeks. So Yamamba is, of course, a reference to the Japanese fairy tale character that is a mountain hag, hence the darker skin and the white hair. So again, almost identical to Mamba, there's just subtle differences. Um, Your Mamba's gonna have the darkest hands out of Gyaru period. Um, and I put very niche just because like, it's so hard even to find pictures online. Um, it's really hard to find. That's why I included myself again, um, just cause I've done the look before and I needed more than two pictures. So that is the difference between Mamba and Your Mamba and they get confused a lot. So hopefully that provides some clarification. Next, we're going to go to another style that is easily confused with other things, and this is Tsuyome. And Tsuyome literally translates to strong, um, and you could be Tsuyome on its own. You could be Tsuyome Mamba if you have huge hair and huge shoes and huge nails. All of that can apply, but on its own, it refers to the huge hair, the big nails, dark tan, big makeup, flashy clothing, and huge heels or platforms. Um, so as you can see in almost every one of these, they have huge hair and that is a staple of Siome. I like personally, I don't mean this as offense to anyone. I personally would not consider a look Siome without the big hair. Um, I see things tagged that way sometimes and I'm like, almost, almost do your hair huge. Like do your hair 12 inches off your head, please. Like um, that is the difference. Uh, also, I put not the same as Kuro Gyaru because often the terms are used interchangeably and they are not the same thing. So um, these girls, I believe, were in Black Diamond. Um, I love these pigtails. They're insane. Um, so yeah, and these girls would often, especially for hair like this, they would go to the salon before their meetup and they would sit there for hours getting their hair done by salons that specialized in this kind of hair. And then they would be done and they would go to their meetup and then shower and wash it out whenever the next day or whatever. So that just makes me laugh. I can't imagine spending a bunch of money and time on something that you'll wear once. So that's why I use wigs. But that is Siome. And next we're going to go to Kuro Gyaru. Kuro, of course, means black, but it just refers to the darkness of skin. So Kuro Gyaru is technically any style with a tan. It, that's why I included all these different styles here. Um, you could be Kuro Gyaru and wear Oni. You could be Kuro Gyaru and wear Himekaji, like anything you want. I don't see this word used by Japanese girls anymore. Um, what I've noticed in the past few years is that it's mostly used by black gals and gals of color now. Um, so I included all gals of color and black gals on this slide here. Um, and these are all gals that are in Papillon magazine as well. So you can see more of them. So yeah, Siome has its own style. 
Kuro Gyaru is any style with a tan. Next, we'll go to Amekaji, which is American casual, which makes me laugh because what Americans dress like this? We don't dress like this at all. Um, but of course, Gyaru was a romanticization of Hollywood and California, so it makes sense. Um, this is a more casual style. It can be worn day to day. I say that because there's a lot of sneakers, um, crops, really low platforms um your hair isn't going to be ginormous you're not going to have eyelashes down on your cheeks um it's a more laid back style um primary colors are the most common so over here with like the red and yellow and blue and things like that um but of course other colors can be used as the pink and orange and stuff like that and the print often includes american words which of course most often do not make any sense but that is how it goes. So this style is adorable. Um, hair can be anything. You could have black hair for this. You could have a tan for this or no tan for this. But hair in Gyaru always tends to be anything but black. Um, so brown, orangey, blonde, anything like that. Next, we're going to go to Agejo. Agejo is on the sexy side of gal the colors are black and pink it has a more sexy edge than the other styles just because it tends to have a little more cleavage showing a little shorter dresses um and it was a common style among hostesses in japan there are ones that kind of promoted this and it's very girly very glamorous um, you can see cheetah print um, a lot of print with gold chains and jewels and champagne bottles and perfume bottles and things like that. And yeah, it's adorable, super cute. Um, hair, you can see here, one gal has pigtails. Um, this gal has her hair piled on top and curled. Curled is definitely a staple. And the eye makeup tends to be a little bit darker. Um, you don't have to do huge eyes, but definitely on the darker side of uh, gal makeup. And then Hime Gyaru, which I know um, a lot of Lolitas transfer into Hime Gyaru, so I wanted to place special emphasis on this slide. Um, so it translates to Princess Gal and is the epitome of feminine. And it has a very particular style. So uh, big hair and dolly eyes are a must. So you have to have big hair once again not quite as big as Siome and not quite as extravagant but as you can see there's all kinds of big hair and tiaras and bows um this can have a lot of different sub styles like rokoko and baroque or the ott like dolly cute which is what i would say this is with the huge bow and pink and all that um so yeah very specific very hard i would say i have I have tried most gal styles and I've never tried this because that hair scares me and I want to get it right and I don't know if I would get it right. So <laughs> yes, that is cello. And um, these three over here are all models for our magazine. So you can check them all out. And from Hime Gyaru, we're going to go to Hime Kaji, which is Princess Casual. So same kind of thing, but there's not as much an emphasis on the huge hair. It's much more toned down. Um, light florals, whites, creams, light brown, ruffles, lace, all that is uh, staples of this fashion. It also has the lightest, softest makeup in Gyaru. So you're not going to see a thick white stripe down the nose or a thick white under the eyes. And oftentimes you don't even need eyelashes under your eyes. Um, I think this is adorable. I think this hairstyle is so cute. And all three of these gals right here are also in our magazine. So you should check out Papillon. I'm going to keep saying that. Um, and yeah, this is much easier to achieve than some of the other styles just because just curl your hair and you're good to go on in the hair department. And many of these clothes are easily found in shops near you. And in fact, Lizzie here, Hello Lizzie B, has 
a lot of different guides on shopping secondhand. So if you want to try this out, uh, you can check her blog out. I love Lucy too. Next we go to Onigiaru, and this is the adult version. So as gals get older, some of them switch to this style when they feel they don't want to do as extreme looks anymore. But toned down does not mean easy. Because this is so toned down, you have to be really, really good at it in order to make it still read as gyaru. So you still have to have a little bit of a droop. It's not gonna be down on your cheeks, but it's gonna be a little bit of a droop. It is a little bit more of a cat eye, but you still have to have a droop. And Onigiru is always up to date on trends. So of course, like Mamba, Gangro, things like that are totally stuck in the early 2000s. And you can modernize them, but they come from the early 2000s. But Onigiru especially focuses on the latest trends and the latest color palettes and the latest prints. And it's just really up to date. And this is Leia here, and she is the head of Papillon Magazine, and she does Onigiru so well. And then I also, I just love um, the hair and makeup styles in these photos as well. Um, I think they really... They show, like, it's toned down, but it's still gal. And unfortunately, in my opinion, this is kind of the style that gal in Japan is drifting toward. Um, if you look at new magazine releases and things like that, you're not going to see anything more extreme than this makeup style. So a little sad, but gal has to grow and change or it will actually be dead. So. Next is Roku, which is the other style that I am wearing today. So it incorporates goth, rock, and visual K elements into it. There is no tan required. This especially is one where if you are deathly pale, you'll do great. Um, heavy dark makeup is also a requirement. And there is a difference between Roku and I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong, like Goshiku, which is the gothic version. But I didn't include that just because I've never actually seen anyone wear it. Like, I don't know that anyone I know has ever worn it. I don't think it was a thing longer than like a season. So I didn't include it. But basically, it's the same kind of thing, except you just wear black and white or maybe black, white and red or black, white and purple. Um, but yeah, I love this style. Um, I love it because I grew up um, in the visual K. Uh, style um, in my teens so I always drift back to like the black and things like that and that's why I like combining it with Mamba because I like the Mamba makeup but I love the Roku style so that's what I am wearing today that's what I combined today and Gyaru O is any style worn by a male so it could be more like Mamba makeup here it could be more like host makeup. It could be no makeup at all and you just have the hair and the clothes. Um, all of this works. Um, it's, yeah, any style you want. The hair has to be on point. There usually is at least foundation and the eyebrows done, sometimes some contour, things like that. But yeah, you can totally do anything in the male style. And of course, uh, most of these are in our magazine as well. Next, I wanted to talk about Gyaru makeup. And this is specifically um, for you if you're interested or for any of you that want to try Gal, which I absolutely encourage you to do. And this was also uh, made by, I'm sorry, I don't know if you prefer Penelope or Cello. So I'm gonna say Penelope because that's your username. Um, yeah, so this was made for our group on Facebook to help show the difference um, because the anime cosplay doll eye is what newbies tend to go toward and the gyaru eye really is a lot different. So the droop starts about halfway under the uh, iris and okay um, and the lowest point is toward the outside and you can put white in there but it's only going to be for extreme styles and it's just a much different shape which i think you can see here the first one the droop starts at the inner corner 
and with Gal, the droop starts around the middle of the eye. And here are some comparisons as well on what contacts, lashes, eye makeup, all of that can do. So with gal makeup, there is always a droopy eye. It doesn't matter what style you're doing, there's always a droop. There is some sort of nose stripe, whether it is well-defined like mine, or whether it's super, super subtle like in Oni or Himekaji. Um, blush is a big thing used in all the styles. Minimal to no contour. I would say 90% of gals use absolutely no contour at all unless they just want to define the edges of their nose stripe. Um, also, if you're wanting to try gal, um, the biggest thing that is helpful when you're a newbie is do not follow the shape of your actual nose when creating the nose stripe. Just draw a straight line. It doesn't matter what your own nose looks like, just straight line and you're good. Eyebrows tend to be light. Even if you have black hair, your eyebrows should be no darker than like a medium brown. Like that's really an important part of the gal style is lighter eyebrows. And they tend to be more straight rather than like a high arch. So even like Leia here who has a little bit of an arch, it's still a much more straight style than the American um, kind of arched eyebrow that is really popular. So uh, we can do questions at the end. So if you have any more questions about makeup or specific makeup styles, I can answer those. And I wanted to touch on the gal lifestyle because it has changed so much, obviously, in the past two, two to three decades since this style really began. And I thought these pictures are just hilarious and adorable and really summarize the gal lifestyle. Um, we, you don't take yourself seriously. You shouldn't take yourself seriously. When you look like this, you can't take yourself seriously. So <laughs> I wanted to briefly touch on Para Para, but there is a Para Para panel happening. So if you're interested in that, definitely check out that panel. So it is a synchronized dance routine, generally to Eurobeat music, but it doesn't have to be. And I would say that in America, it's done more, but in Japan, they really only do it for events now. In the 90s and 2000s, they would do it out on the street. Um, you would see them practicing on the street corner or whatever, or doing it all the time. It's not really done that often anymore. And gyaru saz or gal circles, gyaru circles, um, it basically just means your group. So um, this is Cherry Bomb in California. This is Queenie in England. And there are so many around the world. Um, some have auditions to get in. Some are just, if you're gal, you're in. Um, some have specific auditions and questions and things like that. Um, it varies from each one. And worldwide, as I said, and now they're actually online, Gerardo says, because obviously we can't meet in person. So why, if I'm in California and my friend's in Florida, why do I not just create an online gal circle together? Why not? Um, have Zoom meetings, have dance parties, you know, whatever. Hang out together. Um, you can also find a full list of the active gal circles in volume two of Papillon, if you wanted to check that out. And last but not least, I wanted to put this what's your substyle quiz up here. And I know it might be hard for some of you, like if you're on your phones or something like that. So I can read out the questions. If you are having a hard time seeing them, just let me know. Um, and we can spend a few minutes on this just so you, if you want to do it and like find like what's your what's your style um, you can check this out so I'll look at the comments now let me know if anyone needs me to read these out for you or if you can see them and just want to do them on your own oh cool yeah I'm not really familiar with Eurobeat. Para Para is not my scene. It's never interested me personally. But if you listen to Eurobeat, you're already halfway to being gal, so. <laughs> so basically with this, you're just gonna go see, go through, see how many A's you have, 
how many B's, C's, D's, and whichever one you have the most of is going to be what you are on the right. And of course, put in the chat what you are because that would be super fun. I think you can guess, but I got D. <laughs> Now I wish I knew par par and I could just like dance something for you, but I don't. We also have this for the Gyaruo styles in volume two of Papillon, if you want to check that out. I'm sorry to keep plugging that, but I'm super excited because it's literally just a volunteer project and it's so amazing. Also, we will be doing a print run for volume two, so. You can follow us and see what uh, see if you can get a print of it. <laughs> yeah, Oni, you don't have to tan. Honestly, a lot of these you don't have to tan. Um, I would say the only ones where tan is required, um, and I say required, it's not technically required. It's just what the style was based off of is going to be Gangro, um, Kuro Gyaru, obviously, and Mamba. Anything else is really, you can be totally pale for it. It's totally fine. Ooh, perfect. So, Agijo or Roku, mostly Bs and As. Yeah, I can see that with you. Mostly Cs, awesome. Yep, Hime for sure. Yeah, Hime and Oni. Oh, perfect. Oh, awesome. I'm glad that this is accurate for you guys. Yeah, you could totally have a mix, especially if you're not sure what you want to wear, which is me, obviously. I can never decide. Awesome. The illustrations are adorable, aren't they? Ugh. They're so, so cute. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Heels and platforms work for most of these. Yeah, while you guys are finishing, let me know if you have any questions. I talk pretty fast, so this is the end. So if you have any questions, let me know. Or if you want to see, I could pull up the magazine if you guys want to see that. Uh, just let me know. Did anyone else get D's? Everyone's A, B, and C, huh? It's okay. I'll be alone over here in my super extreme style. Ooh, favorite Gyaru places to shop? Um, thrift stores. <laughs> so, honestly, I prefer not buying brand just because it's so expensive it's so expensive so i do shop um japanese mercari um and i try to only shop if my friends are shopping as well so we can combine an order because you have to use a shopping service which is added on cost and then the shipping from japan is added on cost so if my circle is going to do an order together or something like that then i will look on japanese mercari because there's a lot of Alba Rosa, which is the Mamba-centered brand, Mamba and Gangoro-centered brand. Um, but honestly, I look at thrift stores. Uh, once summer is starting, especially if you're going for the summery styles, um, once summer is starting and thrift stores are really putting things out, go look, go look for anything with tropical flowers, tropical prints, anything really. Um, thrift stores in general, sometimes, Depop and like the American Mercari and things like that. Depop is so expensive though. Like people just price gouge on there. So I said this recently in a live, but for Alborosa, which is um, 
one of the more sought after brands, I think, in Gyaru. If you look on Japanese Mercari, you can find a dress for 900 yen. So obviously not an equal um, measurement, but like between eight and $10, something like that. I forget exactly. So like $10 or less, you can find a dress. And obviously you have to factor in shipping, you have to factor in other costs. So let's say it's a $20 dress after you get shopping cost and shipping cost. And if you look for that same dress on like Depop or like being sold in America by other gals, it's gonna be a $45 dress. So <laughs> I don't re recommend buying brand in the States or in England or wherever you are, unless you have already looked other places and you are fine with spending that much money on it because a 45 dress is usually a $20 dress in reality. So that is my recommendation to you. Um, how do you combine summer in the winter time, but also stay warm if you're in a colder area? I am in California, so it does not get cold. The coldest we get is like 50 degrees, but um, Alvarosa jackets obviously are very tropical. Um, they have that um, tropical year round aesthetic. Um, so those are really good. Also any fur jackets, things like that. And then I also do tights. You can get skin colored tights if you want to look like you're still bare legged under your tropical dress. Fuzzy boots, platform boots. Platform boots are great for the snow because your feet are not in the snow is what I've heard. I don't get snow, but that's what people in the snow tell me. Um, also, you can find uh, sweatshirts with tropical patterns on them. I found one that's bright orange with white embroidered hibiscus down the sleeve. So that would totally work. Also, tropical pattern scarves. You can do it. It's a little harder for sure. Um, but yeah, you can totally do it. Um, what first introduced you to Gyaru? I first got introduced... Um, through Visual K is where I started and that's what I was wearing. So I was already introduced to like J fashion. Um, my friend introduced me to K-pop and then from there I found VK and then all that stuff. And I think one day I saw a picture of, um, there's this DJ, DJ Sisen, if you know him. And he was in a picture with two Mamba gals. And I was like, holy crap, like that makeup is insane. Like they look crazy, what is that? And that was in probably 2011. And I didn't start actually wearing it until like 2015 or 16 or so. Um, but yeah, that's how I found it. And I never forgot Mamba. Like it was so cool and crazy and insane. And yes, check out our winter lookbook tomorrow um, for summer in winter inspiration because we have models all over the world. So um, us here in California obviously wore things without jackets because it wasn't cold and things like that but we also have gals in the snow that took pictures and all kinds of inspiration so definitely check that out I need some good tights recommendations if you need the really thick ones I've seen them on Amazon with like the fleece lined inside I've also found fleece lined just at my local Target so I don't know what stores you have around you but I would say anything thicker than like the standard tights are good no matter what brand they are. Um, they don't usually rip, but you can also look at Amazon and look at reviews. Um, I always look to see if something has ripped or not. Since we have some more time, would you guys be interested if I pulled up the recent Halloween lookbook and you could see the awesome costumes? Let me know. Yes, okay. Let me um, let me stop the share. Let me see here. Okay, let me stop that real quick and let me pull it up for you. Some of you have already seen this, obviously, because you're in it, but it is super cool. I know I say that a lot. However, our editors are seriously so amazing. Like, so amazing. Okay, let me see. It does have sound effects, so you might hear that. Um, 
You're right. It is. Not even biased. It is so good. So this is the cover here. Happy Halloween, Papillon. That is Gretchen on the cover and I love her. She is the biggest sweetheart in the world. Table of contents, things like that, you guys can read on your own if you want to. Here's the model introduction list here. And if you go on here, you will find everyone's names as well as their Instagram usernames, all of that if you want to follow everyone. We also have some scary stories in here, as well as uh, movie horror movies posters turned into gal horror movie posters. And this is Kohime right here in her Playboy Bunny costume. Cherry Bomb here. We actually got to go take pictures in the graveyard, which was super awesome. And of course, the day we went to take pictures, little behind the scenes moment, the day we went to take pictures, it was burning hot, which was miserable in all the layers we were on. It was super sunny, and then it got super cloudy, and then it started raining all on the same day. So thank you so much. Isn't it so cute? So this is my friend Jonathan, and he looks amazing, if I do say so myself. And this is Ko. And look at that body paint. Like, look at that dedication. Oh, seriously, so good. And that's me. And almost everything I'm wearing is handmade. That is also where I get my gal clothing. I make a lot of it myself. Um, thank you. Thank you. And here's one of our Gyaru O's. Super cool horror look. Rayla, and more body paint. Oh, stunning. Seriously, everyone went all out for this. It's so cool. More amazing body paint. And who doesn't want like vampire looks? Like, Come on, super awesome. Yeah, everyone had amazing body paint, for real. Ina, gonna go kick someone's butt. Adorable, I love the horns and like the dark makeup with the dark purple and the black lips, ah, stunning. Also like that chair, holy crap, I want that chair. And of course, Penelope. Also love this cross here. It's such a good touch. Hey, stop. My cat. Ah, I love twisted Mergal siren look. And like how smart to put like a necklace on your forehead. So smart and gorgeous. And that hair color is so beautiful. Circus look. I love the red and black lips. Super awesome. There's Gretchen again. Little bloody bunny look. So cute. And of course the lollipop. Who doesn't want a Harley Quinn? A gal Harley Quinn, like what is more perfect? Such an adorable look. And she was wearing so many extensions. I forgot how much she said, but it's literally like a person's head on each side of her hair. Like that's dedication. Danielle is another one that makes most of her own clothing. She's an amazing Hime gal and makes most of our own clothing. And it's always so beautiful.
Amiman is amazing. Oh, yay. I'm so glad you love it. Thank you for coming. Amiman is another total sweetheart. Definitely recommend giving her a follow. Polka, like, can we appreciate that hair, please? Like, that is amazing mamba hair. Like, spot on. Perfect. Such a good witchy, creepy look. And Kohi, of course. It's such a cute look. I am dying over your hair. It is the cutest ever. Like the black and orange extensions, best choice ever. So cute. Georgie and Emmy, adorable matching twin look. <laughs> I yeah, I'd say that 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 hair was worth it. It was amazing. So cute. I love like I would never think to do a scarecrow look. This is so cute. And the sunflowers like uh adorable. And that makeup. I'm sorry, everyone in this magazine is amazing. And I will say that every page probably more amazing body paint and that angel look is so cute definitely a ton of creativity we have the most creative community that's for sure everyone is super amazing like who doesn't want an adorable vampire friend like oh so so cute Vani is always the cutest. You can find this magazine at magazine-papillon.com under the magazine tab, and it's P-A-P-I-L-L-O-N. Mini is also adorable. Hello Kitty Maid. Yes, and there's the link for the magazine um, posted there in the comments. Hello Kitty Maid. She has the most amazing Hello Kitty room. It is to die for. Adorable. Diz also makes almost all of her own clothing. Like she makes everything and it's amazing. And that hair, I love that hair. Flawless. I love this witch look. Yes. I love witchy looks in general, and this is so good, like with the sheer sleeves and the hat. Oh, so cute. Yes. Cat look, wild cat look. Ugh. And that wig, she didn't cut that wig herself. So good. And the issues here are definitely the traditional Gangro style uh, shoes. If you're interested in that style, definitely look for some platforms like that. And this is Lea and Dededo. And this is her fashion line. She has shirts, sweatshirts, uh, phone cases, all kinds of stuff. Super, super cute. Yeah, I love her. She does a lot of like cyber Kiaru style, which I think is super amazing. And she made this illustration right here of the two of them together. And it's the cutest style. I love it so much. And like the puffball hair, uh, so, so cute. another one of them together and then another one they took the shining and turn it into the eyelining <laughs> it makes me laugh so much 
<laughs> the eyelining. <laughs> uh, it's perfect. I love puns and oh, adorable. And Yaya and, and Kaneem are the cutest. Yes, perfect. I hope that one day we can print all of these. That would be so amazing. And then we always have hair and makeup tutorials in these as well. So beauty and the hair piece. <laughs> and then we have this black swan look over here. And we always list the products as well, as well as the eyelashes and the contacts. Oh, the contacts in case you ever want to try anything. More of those, the kitty maid and gal's little monster. <laughs> ah, so cute. Our, have I mentioned our editors are amazing? Like, I think you can see that. Our editors are amazing. So good. Here are some more Dark Depths of Beauty and Valley Gyaru. Jaro does really intense, really awesome, really off the wall mamba stuff. I would say contacts are not required for Gal, but they're always going to enhance your look. Um, so they're not required. I would say that for some styles they are, but that's just my personal preference. Um, if you're not going to wear contacts with your Gal look, you really have to focus on making every single other aspect of your look perfect because the contacts add so much to the Gal aesthetic that if you take those out, then you really have to make sure you have the droop, you have the eyelashes, you have the eyebrows, you have the nose shape. So not required, but it's a little easier to look out with contacts, I would say. Hello, hello. The layout is amazing, yeah. And then we have this makeup tutorial here, this Franken gal look, Frankenstein monster look. And she is actually a certified makeup artist. She is our makeup pro. So not only is she doing this tutorial, but she's also offering tips and all of the different uh, products you will need. It's so good. So all the, even all the spots, like all of the different details. And then also there was a bonus tutorial for the look that Jaro did. Another lovely movie poster here, Gyarula. <laughs> Adorable, a nightmare of glamour. And then we have the 13 unlucky products for you to try this Halloween. It's just a 13 product recommendation. <laughs> yes, our editors are amazing at coming up with puns. Sometimes our conversations are like, oh, more puns, but it always makes me laugh. And then we wanted to do a staff page as well. And we wanted to make it look like we were on our way to beat someone up. So um, here we have Leia, who is the leader. She doesn't get her hands dirty. She prefers to sit back and watch. And she usually has to rein the other gals in. Her weapon is a gun, quick and easy. I wrote all of these for fun and then we ended up using them. So this is me here, that's my real name. I am a mystery, uh, does she even have a mouth? Does too many backflips show off weapons, platforms, and baseball bats? <laughs> You're the person that was beat up, oh no. <laughs> no, we like you, it's okay. Lala wasn't able to join um, with a look so we uh, put her as a ghost here. We have Shin the Sniper, we have Katty the Muscle, Star is Muscle, Pig is a Distraction, and Kylie is Muscle, and Lala is the Brains over here. So I love our staff team. Everyone is so amazing. I want to try to show you guys the last pages before time is up. So we had this Pudukura time here, which I think is super cute. It'd be an honor to be beat up by y'all. <laughs> We'll let you know. We'll let you know, Kohi. Super cute. And then once again, all the different models here. And then we always have um, 
There's a link you can follow to get backgrounds to download. Here is more art by our artist Starchu here is the one that made the illustrations on the quiz that you guys took to figure out what styles. So Starchu made those. And Maho Shani, I think, something like that. She makes all of our back covers. Yes, she is amazing. She makes all of our back covers for us. And these artists do this for free as well. Everyone does this for free. Like, look at that. Look how cute that is. Shani made that. Like, stunning. I want that as my phone wallpaper all year round. So good. Okay. Before we finish, are there any more questions? I keep looking at the questions down here and not you guys, I apologize, but are there any more questions? I'm so glad that you learned something. Yay. I'm so glad. Oh, perfect. Yeah, there's something you can fill out. You're very welcome. Thank you guys for coming. Yeah, let me know if there are any questions left. I'm so glad. Yeah, no problem, Kohi. Thanks for coming. I'm so glad you loved this. Thanks. Yay. Yes. Yeah my links one more time if you want to follow you're welcome thanks for coming i didn't know if there would actually be that much interest for this so i'm happy yay anything else before we say goodbye and i go back to homework A live makeup tutorial. If you follow my Instagram, sometimes I do do those. So if you ever want to join that. Yeah. I'll be putting up my tutorial for this look on my Patreon. And then in the future, I'll do a more simple one that isn't so um, insane. Thank you. Thank you. All my finals are papers. So it's like hours of writing. All of that. I think you're right. I should, maybe I'll just bedazzle my homework. Do you think my professor would appreciate a, a paper on Dorian Gray that was bedazzled? Because I think Dorian would like it. So I think you're on to something, Kohi. <laughs> All answers are gems. You are correct. <laughs> that is true. Oscar Wilde would have wanted a bedazzled paper. That is true. You are correct. Thank you guys so much for coming. And I hope you have fun at the other panels. I definitely check out the Para Para panel if you are interested in that. Thank you guys so much. Bye. Oh, I love you too. You're so welcome. <laughs> See you guys later. Have a good one.